Hello and welcome to the Joyous Kingdom. In today's video, we'll be doing a paid Brutally Honest review on Game of Silk's NFT. This is a horse racing NFT, very much tied with the real sport of horse racing, which is a multi, multi, many, many millions of dollars industry. If you guys have been enjoying the consistent uploads, the variety of different projects that I cover, there's different styles of content that I cover, smash a like in this video, it helps me out tremendously, you have no idea. I appreciate everybody liking the video, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom. If you haven't already followed me on Twitter and in the Discord down below in the description, I don't know what what you're doing you're hurting yourself fam if you want to get three free stocks side with my weeble link it helps me out directly and also you get free money it's a trading stock and crypto platform it's always good to have more than one coinbase and voyager don't always work for everybody me in general literally works half the time for me as you guys know the goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day so if that sounds good to you let's get into the video And for any projects you want to get in contact with me for a really honest review, just email me at joysofficial at gmail.com. I try and respond within 48 hours. So here we have the Game of Silks NFT Twitter page, the first play to earn metaverse powered by the real world of thoroughbred horse racing. 9,966 followers. I think they do a great job of, uh, of personal branding as well as marketing. Um, I would like to see even more video content. Their pinned tweet is a video that we can watch right now. Baller video, dude. I, that was actually really, really cool. And so they've actually got a couple of videos and I would encourage them to post more videos because that was really, really good. And just, you know, if you make 10 to 20 videos, bro, like that's that's months worth of content. And that's also another strategy that a lot of projects use, like Subducks, for example. You make a show, that earns you so much time. And if things aren't going uh, as fast as people would like as far as utility, content is the way you can actually, you know, uh, give yourself more time and give yourself a lot more flexibility because people will be interested and emotionally tied to the project. So I would say a lot more video content. Now, if we pop into their Discord, everything looks good in here. There's not too many. There's not too many channels or anything like that. Everything looks secure. Everything looks organized. Also, if you guys don't know, horse racing is actually a huge sport. I used to go to a school where they were famous for their horse racing. I've never been personally interested in it, but I know for a fact. If you guys also watch Squid Games, horse racing is a absolutely insane sport as far as like people who are interested in it and betting on it is the main thing is betting uh same with like nascar and stuff like that this sucks metaverse awaits you a new realm has been created to parallel the real world of thoroughbred horse racing now if we go into their website this is what it looks like their team is on the front page here so we're going to go into them in just a second here here's the q1 roadmap of 2022 it starts with the silks the silks genesis collection silks avatars are the key to unlocking the silks metaverse and becoming part of the community the game and founder of thoroughbred horse racing each in-game avatar is a unique nft whose uniform comes with his own distinct combination of colors, patterns, and traits, which will serve to represent your stake in the Seek's ecosystem. Utility and benefits of holding one of these is exclusive access to the yearly mint, the inaugural drop of the Silk's horses, early adoption rewards, including airdrops, giveaways, and real-life event access, Genesis holder stats within the Silk's community. Mint of real-world racehorse, uh, the yearling mint silks horses are the main attraction to the silks metaverse each is a unique nft that is directly based off the real world one year old thoroughbred racehorse also known as a yearling the yearling mint will be a traditional blind nft sale to ensure fairness once the horses are eligible to begin their race career silk horse owners will have the ability to start earning valuable rewards based on their horse white paper for q1 of 2022 here it is and for the introduction they kind of just introduce what this is exactly it's it's they're basically trying to mimic and uh, imitate what's really happening in real life. That's why they have like their yearling uh, NFT where the horses come out just to kind of be a digital representation of what exactly is happening in real life for horse racing. And that's what they're trying. That's like the main just here. They're trying to make it a very realistic thing. And so yeah, the gameplay is primarily derived from the and tied to the real US 
thoroughbred horse racing economy. So they go kind of through the numbers about what happens in real life. You know, it costs about $60,000 to get one of these yearling horses. It costs about 40 grand to actually a year to actually feed them and, and maintain them until they can actually race. And then about 30,000 races a year and over $50 million in wagering and betting in excess of about $11 billion on their outcomes. So they're basically saying there's a shit ton of money in this industry of horse racing and that's why they want to bring it into the digital space. And the importance of bloodlines they also talk about here is if you have like a royal line where it's just like everyone in that family is just a bunch of beasts, it makes a huge, huge difference. So they talk about the horse farms, the risk, and why it's important to maintain your horse as well as you can to give them the best chance of doing this. And the reason they're showing this much information about real world horse racing is because since they're trying to relate the two in real life in the metaverse, obviously in the metaverse, you don't actually have to feed the horse in, in, in like a dish, you know what I mean? So they're trying to do this because they want people to understand the foundation of what horse racing is in real life. So ways you actually participate in the silver ecosystem is you speculate on the land, develop land to the horse farms, purchasing and trading horses, uh, syndicating the horses and entering the horse ownership pools. Members can earn rewards in the silver ecosystem by staking horses, racing them, breeding them, mining them, uh, and then contributing to the silver ecosystem. They'll be adding a uh, token into this project. They have a DAO treasure they're gonna be doing Doing. These are different ways that you can utilize your tokens inside the ecosystem. They're gonna have the horse, the land, the stables, the future structures and uh, resources, the algorithm racing, and the wagering. It says here there will be a max of 5 billion units of this token. It's supposed to be a non inflationary token. And as for the allocation, 40% to the players, 5% to the advisors, 30% to the team, 5% to the reserve, and 20% into the ecosystem. And then for their unlock schedule, I guess when these start to go out, I assume it's just by days 500 days uh and i guess over time they get more and more of their of their uh you know liquidity unlocked and so far these are the four different nfts will be launching the racing silks the land the stables and the horses and i kind of went over why you would need each one but one thing i wanted to mention is that the amount of available land will not exceed 202,500 acres without the approval of the dow and so it'll just keep it like a limited amount of virtual land for your for your horses and so they'll actually be mining sil uh, slk uh, to actually get these and so the data will be submitted of a consensus if it's rejected then it's done approved it'll go into storage and they believe that this way of real mining is how it's going to actually work and how it's actually going to you know make it sustainable over time. and so for staking on the farm they have like a community one where you can drop it off and you'll have to pay some kind of tax system style of thing um, or you can actually have a private farm owner so i assume that's if you own a certain amount uh, that you're able to make that like a private thing so you can kind of choose uh, what you do as far as like what you charge and if you say yes to this uh, this horse being uh, on or on your property also if you use a private third party farm you're subject to a lockup period during which it cannot be sold so it's very much just like staking anything on any website for the third party farms and stuff they want them to be picky because if you have the farm with all the best horses that's going to be the best environment to breed the best horses we're going to do the best and perform the best they'll also be introducing a fractionalizing ownership of the horse which you can do if you don't feel like buying a whole one and so they're gonna have a system set up for that and the way you do that is by using the governance tokens as i said earlier another part of the ecosystem is, is speculating and developing the land to find the best the best pits of land and the best farms to actually stake your horses on for the best environment basically for them to win when there's real world horse races happening that's when the actual digital version horses will race so it's very very much tied to the real world so far as retiring horses if a horse becomes inactive and is no longer racing silks will deem that horse retired and these retired horses will have other ways to generate utility basically that's not going to be racing and they intend to grow as the horse racing community in real life grows and they, they think that there's actually more of a reason to grow because it's in the metaverse because it's not actually limited by a lot of the in real life stuff that do affect things in real life so anyways we have an initial projected roadmap for q1 pre-sale the silks avatar mint pass q2 public sales the silks avatar pre-sale the silks 2022 yearling crop to mint the pass holders uh, public sale of the 2022 yearling crop q3 we public sale of the land and stables q4 metaverse registration on ramp staking syndication mining racing and breeding and 2023 they go into the metaverse so it looks like this is going to be uh, a little bit into the future as to when all these things come to fruition the silks user experience will be built on webgl and the Unity game engine, a combination which has a proven tracker with blockchain gaming and metaverse projects. Our Weave, IPS, IP, IPFS, and AWS localized service will be used for the data layer and, and will deliver a low latency experience to users around the globe. We're just gonna go through the main team here. And they've got a lot of these people fully doxxed. And then as far as like their main team, then the rest of the guys here, uh, developers and stuff, they don't really have anything here. So we'll start with Dan, the CEO and founder. This is his LinkedIn page. Here's what he looks like. He's actually got a lot of experience as far as being an entrepreneur, basically a founder and CEO for a lot of different companies. He's someone who you'd want, you know, this is the style of person you want as a CEO. CEO and founder of a project, someone who is willing to push the bounds, someone who 
doing something new and pioneering something is literally their passion. And Dan got his BS in economics from the California State University of Northridge. And then he got his JD, which is it's like similar to like a master's degree uh, from the New York University School of Law. Next, we have Troy, another founder here. Here's his LinkedIn, president of Tropical Racing Incorporated. Um, this is his whole life is just horse racing. This is definitely 100% you need to have this person in your team if you're going to be a horse racing project. You need someone who actually understands the real world of this. And he has his own company um, where they actually bet and make real money. And this is their real business. This is their Facebook page. They do a lot of content on their Facebook, a lot of consistent uploads. And this is real world horse racing. This isn't metaverse. So this is real world. And so this is good to see from their team here. Now we have Benny in charge of product and another founder. And this is his LinkedIn page. Here's what he looks like. A younger guy. He has uh, an education from Yeshiva Eretz Hatvi and the Yeshiva University where he studies strategy and entrepreneurship. He's got a couple sponsorships here, uh, e-commerce stuff. And then he's the founder of Evolve Shorts. This is his website. This is like a product website. So, you know. This is, I guess, why he's in charge of product, because he's got actual experience here. Next up, we have Michael Tech and founder. Here's what he looks like, Michael Lira. He's got a lot of experience in managing, consulting, producing specialties, and just online shit, just a bunch of online shit. He's got a lot of experience, again, in managing on strategy, consulting, e-commerce, e-product, and that's why he's in this position. He holds a BA in marketing, liberal arts, and communication from the California State University of Long Beach, and a BA in film from the University of California, Los Angeles. Next up, we have Abe from marketing. Here's his LinkedIn PA CMO, uh, gave us silks here. He also has a lot of experience and this is kind of what he has been doing. He's just been managing. He's in charge of business developing partnerships. That's why he's in a marketing position here for his education. He attended the Toro University for economics and marketing from 85 to 87. We have Derek from finance as well. Derek Cribs, CFO of Gaming of Silks. Um, he has also worked in a lot of board, directing of research, portfolio sectoring heads uh, from Glenville Capital, from SAC Capital Advisors, Roystone Capital Management. So he's got a good bit of, uh, of experience there. He also attended the Wharton School from 89 to 93, where he received a BS in finance and accounting. And then he also attended Harvard Business School for a Master's of Business Administration from 95 to 97. We have Jacob, Project Manager. Here's Jacob's uh, LinkedIn page. He's got uh, experience in consulting, investing, research assistant and capital market intern. So he's a younger guy. So this is something I talked about in the world of women video is that you can actually get jobs in web three and you don't have to have 25 years of experience. You can be someone new who just has an idea or has a specific skill set. So if you have a specific skill set and you're young, you know, I know a lot of us young people have this imposter syndrome, put yourself out there, fam. You might get it. You might get a job. It's pretty cool. I like, to, I love to see young people on teams. As far as education, he attended the Yeshiva university, got a BA in finance and, and attended NYU for attendance school of engineering. Uh, in computer science. Now we have Matt in charge of marketing here. Says he's chief executive officer at Before the Print. Before the Print is a metaverse marketing company. I assume that's probably made for this project, I assume. He attended Humber College from 2016 to 2020. And finally, we have Matt in charge of business development. Here's his LinkedIn page, founder and operator at Web3 Evangelist. Uh, he's an accomplished entrepreneur, founder of Chibi Labs, founder and operating officer, worked with partnering and brands. He does have a college education for the Bachelor of Arts and Economics from Binghamton University. And guys, that's gonna bring this review to a close. Mainly my bits of advice are gonna be toward content, just ramp up the content as much as you can. And then one thing I left out that actually might help their personal branding is some guys in the team could do a little bit more work on their Twitter pages. A lot of them are pretty inactive or just aren't putting enough much effort on their Twitter. And I think that's a mistake. I think they've done a great job outlining exactly why and how the real world racing kind of applies and how it directly impacts this project and so i thought they did a great job of that if you enjoyed this video if you learned something subscribe to the channel join the kingdom click that like button turn that button blue it helps me out so much if you're not following me on twitter if you're not in the discord down below in the description you're doing yourself a disservice go ahead and get three free stocks using my Weibo link down in the description below you get free money you know it helps me out directly i really appreciate that you and it's a crypto and trading stocks platform so it's always good to have more than one trading platform because they don't always work if you want to see more of me right now click on one of these boxes on the other side of me until next time continue on your joy age continue to learn and be grateful you're alive watching this video.